Hi everybody, this is Diane. I'm here to show you some journals that I made with uh, children's books. Two little golden books and one small telltale book. Let's do that one first. <coughs> they are all made with O-wires, which I bound with my Bind It All. And I will leave a link below of a, a video that shows how to do the binding. I did um, a couple of videos a process for making these, how I did the pocket pages and then just assembling pages and decorating them. Um, but I will, I did not demonstrate how to bind it, so I will link a previous video from I think a year ago. So this one is Raggedy Ann's Cooking School. It's a tell a tale book and <clears throat> it is five and a half by almost six and a half. I just tied it with this um, variegated seam binding. It doesn't need to be tied. It lays flat, but if you start gluing stuff in it, it will fatten up. I left the back the way it is. It's quite colorful and cute. They're one inch wires. And this book is 35 cents. So, oh, it's 1974. I loved the end papers, so I did not cover them up. I just added this label here for writing your name and dates or whatever you want to write. So it's just filled with a variety of papers. There isn't a lot of embellishing in this one. There's a little bit of washi tape there to cover up someone's name. I added some cards. It's just a canning jar, which is really cute, and the colors are great. Um, scrapbook paper with a digital pocket that I had in my stash and I just added a tag in there. There's a little playing card just for fun. There's a little sack. I folded it up so it would fit and there was some printing here so I covered that up and added a journaling card in there and inside. You can add more. There's a journaling spot there. This is from an address book. This is from a calendar. It's another little playing card, which is so cute. And there's a little note sheet here with Raggedy Ann and Andy. You can write on that. I did a little bit of stamping. It's a little tag that I made. I just added some washi tape to it. It's got the whole story in it, in order. This is... Um, from a pack of journaling cards. So it's supposed to look like some kind of a card that you fill out with information. Um, I had stenciled on the back of a couple of these pages. They were scraps of scrapbook paper, so I don't know what the project was, but I just left it. There's a cute little postcard with a scalloped edge. Some more stamping. This is from a Raggedy Ann coloring book I got in a Happy Mail. And I, I reinforced it so it wouldn't tear and then added a journaling card as a tuck spot. And then this is a stamped piece. Here's a little card that I got at a flea market. It has Norwegian butter cookies in it, the recipe. Not the cookies, just the recipe. But you can open it right out and write in it. Take that recipe out if you want to. And I made a little tuck spot here. This is just a tag, a digital tag that's in my shop. And a postcard. Somebody sent this to me in a happy mail. Isn't that sweet? And it's written in Swedish, I believe. And I can't read the date. Well, it's addressed to Hamburg, so that's German. So maybe, maybe this is German. Just so many cute elements in this book. Of course, I love Raggedy Ann. 
think the first card like this was uh, the farmhouse, and this is the barn. The farmer and his wife and all the animals, they're just so cute and colorful. And another little postcard with a, a girl talking on an old-fashioned phone. Another notepad, note sheet with Raggedy Ann and Andy. So there's lots of journaling space. It's a cute little size to put in your purse. And on the back, it has this cute pocket with two tags. One of the tags has my signature on it. And you could put a cute picture on here that would show through the window. All right, so that's Raggedy Ann's Cooking School. And then the other two are golden books, as I said. This one is The Three Bears. I love the bright blue seam binding, and it matches the bright blue yo-yo that I put there. I just put some fabric pieces on for decoration. The book was in pretty good condition, and it didn't really need to be covered, but I just did that for decoration. I folded paper around the... Um, raw edge here where I had cut the book apart and I collaged on the back and I have to count the pages but um, I think there are close to 50 sheets in there which would mean about 100 both sides I added I covered up the end papers on these books and I added a card there that you can write your name. This was just for a decoration. I had that strip laying on my desk and I just glued it there. This is a little strip um, from a children's book and I put it on as a tuck spot and I added this florist hand, hang tag and this little journal card. I didn't give you the date on this. MCMLXV. This is from an old album. And I did this in a video. It's one of the pocket pages that we did in a video. It's half of a mailing envelope, a junk mail envelope from my insurance company. And I just covered it with scrapbook paper and music paper. And inside, I put this tag that you can write on. And then on this side, I just clipped a journaling card and I used this pink pig paper clip that I got in a Happy Mail. Look at the curly tail. So again, all the all the pages are in here in order. There's a guest book page. Um, this is from a textbook, and this is a map page. And I had this image from a 1930s children's activity book, and I made a copy of it and cut it out because the pages that I had were very very brittle. He's so cute, and he just looks great. Like he's just ready to travel all around Europe and take snapshots. Here's a little card with a cute girl mixing up some batter while her kitty licks his lips. There's a little frog fishing with his jar of flies and it says time's fun when you're having flies. For some reason, this is an old Stampin' Up! set, and for some reason, that just always cracks me up. Just a lined paper there, a giant playing card. I just glued a journaling spot there. This I've had in my stash for a long time. Julie Mangold sent these to me in a great big fun box of Happy Mail a long time ago. And um, I'm finally going to use them. So I put one in here, just a little card 
And um, I did take a couple of lines from children's books, include them in just randomly. Then I must do it myself. So here he is doing his own laundry. Good for you. Just a scrap of uh, scrapbook paper and an old Tim Holtz ticket. It says wish, a gingham envelope, and a suggestions card. Both of these items came in happy mail, although not together. This is older, and this one I just got not too long ago, I think. And I just added this little digital that I fussy cut. Here's another pocket page that we made in the video. This is weekly time report card. And there's a jar and a journaling card. I made a large tag to put in there and put a pocket on it. This was also in the pocket page video. Put a couple cards in that pocket. Page from a um, vintage book about antique furniture. And this is from a gardening binder. So you could glue pictures down on here. Vintage um, music score sheet. I added washi tape just to put some color on it. <clears throat> and then we have a glassine bag that I had Mod Podge this colorful napkin to. It was in my stash. I just added it here and put a large colored index card inside. Here's another pocket page where we just added a tabbed index card and embellished it put some cards inside. She simply could got, not go another inch. There's a little mouse yawning. This is wrapping paper and I love this. It's so cute. And I am, uh, reinforced it there. I got this in a happy mail. It's a card, a note card, with a patchwork heart glued to it. And it was handmade, I think. I don't think it was handmade by the person who sent it, but I'm not sure. But you've got lots of space for writing on it. Here, this is from one of the Kane Company Smash books. It says, now that deserves a high five. A vintage, some kind of a flash card that came from a school. There's another pig paper clip, and it's holding on a florist hang tag. And on the back is a library pocket. This is not vintage. It's one that I had in my shop. They're gone from my shop now, but I still have my supply. And I added some washi tape and this little journaling card and this little girl that I fussy cut from a vintage children's book. And it's got a library card with my signature on it. The Three Bears. And lastly, we have A Child's Year by Joan Walsh Angland, who is the illustrator. And this one had stickers on it, and I just covered them up with lace and ribbon and vintage fabrics and a yo-yo. And I collaged on the back. And covered the end papers again. Here's some washi tape with squirrels. Here's the other part of that um, insurance envelope. And this is the part with the window. We did this in a video. I just covered up the white parts. And added that journaling card with the birds. And made this card to put inside. This piece was cut from a children's book and I positioned it so that it would show through the window. And 
These illustrations are beautiful. Here's another page from that textbook. And this is just something I made with my Cricut a long time ago. So I put it in here with as a tuck spot and just tucked a little journaling card in there. There's a little greeting card. It's so cute with the little girls watering their flowers. It's just a card. I think it was a photo mat. I just um, bound it right in. And there's another one of those cards from Julie. It says, oh, but that was fun. Same thing in there. Here's another pocket page. This has some embellishing on it and this is just from a piece of scrapbook paper that I've had for a long time. This looks like a receipt but it was a sheet, 12 by 12 sheet of these perforated pieces from scrapbooking paper. And in this pocket is another kind of a card to fill out for some kind of work. I don't think it was a time card. The journaling spot there. And here we have the large tag I made in this book. And this one has a double pocket because I, I found this triangle and thought it was perfect here. So this is a digital um, calling card. porcupines on that washi tape. Or hedgehogs. Hedgehogs, I guess. And uh, the sack in this book is this pretty flowered one. We have a tabbed index card that had the napkin Mod Podge to it. It's fun to see them try to fly. My little ducky stamp. And there's some wrapping paper again. It's been reinforced. And a little note card with children playing with antique toys. I love the vintage look of those cards. This is another piece from a Kane Company smash book and it has this image of horses pulling a wagon and it says this ain't no horse and pony show. There's the vintage flash card. Another pig paper clip. And this one is a vintage library pocket, and I covered it up because it was... They mark them up with black marker a lot of the times when they discard them from the library, so I cover them. I like the way they look anyway when I find papers and images that match the color scheme that I'm using. And I had this uh, colored index card, or library card. So that's it. We have three fun wire-bound journals that are in my shop. When this video goes up, the, these will be in the shop. So come on over. I will leave the link below. And uh, we have A Child's Year, The Three Bears, and Raggedy Ann's Cooking School. Thank you for watching, and I will see you in the next video. Please subscribe to my channel and give me a thumbs up. And really, please leave me a comment. I love to read your comments. I have not been responding to all of the comments, but just because of the state of mind I've been in and I've been sick and it's just been a whole thing, you know, so I'm sorry. Um, but I have been reading them all and I will get back to responding to them too. So do leave a comment. I would really appreciate it. It perks me up if it's a good comment. I will see you in the next video. Have a creative day today. Bye-bye.